Hi folks, my name is Raj, Raj Kapoor, and I'm the founder of the India Blockchain Alliance and an honorary member of the Global ITS Committee of DLC. And today on DLC Talks, I'm talking block. Yes, sir, I'm talking about blockchain. Blockchain, oh yeah, everybody asks me lots of questions, but you know what? The first question is always, sir, shall I buy Bitcoin? Guys, blockchain is not Bitcoin and Bitcoin is not blockchain. They're not interchangeable. Bitcoin is a great use case on the blockchain, but we'll come for that another day. In the meantime, let me tell you how blockchain is revolutionizing not only us, but the world we live in, our economies and our nations. You know what? 2008, when Satoshi Nakamoto actually challenged the whole world when he actually put together a paper which says, listen guys, we can do business together one on one. We don't need anybody like a bank in the middle to transact. Well, he shook up the world. And by the way, that's not even his real name. It's his anonymous name or a pseudonym because he was scared. He was scared somebody might take some action on him because he was actually threatening an institution. Well, what he was doing was establishing another institution. And that doesn't go down well with many people. Anyway, let's fast forward a little bit. Everything started from 2009. Let's fast forward now the last two years. The last two years have seen blockchain, especially at the enterprise level, go big time. When we say big time, you know, I've been in this space since 2010. It's been a long, long journey. Not a soul used to ask me about blockchain. Not a soul used to ask me, what am I doing? And today, everyone asks me that question. That's a paradigm shift. Let me start by saying, guys, that blockchain is not just an information technology. People confuse it with only technology. It's not. It's an institutional technology. And there's a big difference. Institutional technologies don't come around every year. The first one was the internet, 94, 95. Now it's the blockchain, so you can see how powerful it is. You know, people say, nowadays, whoever I speak to, the corporates, the enterprise, they all ask me, what is blockchain? And I say, guys, that's your future. Leave it and you're out of the race. Well, why? Let me explain to you some of the reasons why. You know, I've worked now, two years back, I was working on about 12 use cases of blockchain in different industries. Today, I'm working on 57 such projects, all different. And blockchain is not just for the financial sector, which a lot of people do believe. It started off with that, yes. A majority of applications were built for the financial sector, but today, every sector, every sector, you name it, utilities, Hospitality, logistics, shipping, travel, everything is on the blockchain. The government is running so many projects on the government. Now, what happens? Why are they doing that? Well, blockchain is built on three very solid fundamentals. One, it is time stamped. You can never change that. All data, once it's created, is on that. Second, it is decentralized. It doesn't belong to any one person. It doesn't belong to, say, an Amazon or a Facebook or an Alibaba. It's decentralized. It doesn't belong to anyone. And therefore, you can't hack it because you can't find out who has it. That's a very big plus, especially for data. And the third and the most important, it is immutable. Once data is created, you can never erase it from a block. Now imagine that. You can imagine how people and systems can be manipulated today because everything is centralized. Frankly speaking, we've been doing and practicing blockchain in our own ways from our forefathers' time. Let me tell you how. There's a saying which goes, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Well, the basket being the centralized database and the eggs being your data. What can happen? Somebody can steal the basket. 
Somebody can break some eggs. Somebody can steal some eggs. Lots of things can happen. What can happen if you put the 12 eggs in 12 different baskets? Very difficult to lose all, break all, or steal all. And they're because all across the globe. Really difficult. The blockchain is something like that in simple terms. Our data is distributed on hundreds and thousands of computers across the globe. No one person has access. So you can't get into that person, get into hacking. Anyways, more important now is how we apply blockchain in real world. Well, absolutely look at the Ukraine-Russia war to start off with. How have they used blockchain, people ask me. Well, two reasons. One, the first thing when the war broke out, immediately all banks were shut down, all systems were shut down, people had to flee their homes. And what did they have? Nothing but the clothes on their back and maybe their mobile phone, which of course is an extension of us now. So what happened? They asked for aid. Yes, people said we will send you aid, but for money and things to come like clothes, medicines, etc., it takes time. Well, it also takes money. And more important, they needed arms to fight the Russians. So there was actually a Ukrainian DAO, what is Decentralized Autonomous Organization, basically an organization built on the blockchain, which actually facilitated within a few days about $12 million of aid for the Ukrainians and for the soldiers so they could buy arms and fight back. That's a great use case of blockchain. Let me share some others. I was recently working on a project where the electricity, for example, you don't know how much is your bill really. You don't know how many units you've really consumed. You just get the bill, go online, pay it, and that's the end of it. But do you know that there was this electrical company, utilities company, which was actually overcharging each of its consumers by 10 to 15 units per month. Imagine that. Multiply that by the crores and crores and millions of people who are using and utilizing that energy. Now you see the profits, unscrupulous profits. Well, that stopped now. We put the blockchain. So now all accurate data gets logged on to the blockchain and nobody can tamper with it. Today, every system is t can be tampered with. Every system, whether it's in the banking system, whether it's your ERP systems, everything. You put all the cybersecurity protocols, nothing works. Everything is tamperable, everything is hackable. And now we have data, which is becoming the new gold. Oil is finite, gold is finite, currency is finite, everything is finite. But what is not finite? Data, because that's generated every day and tons and tons of it. Why do you think countries like Dubai are moving and becoming blockchain and crypto friendly? By the way, Dubai as a city is the only city in the world which is completely on the blockchain. Well, if you think, why is India behind? No, India is not behind really. There are 90 plus projects the government has launched on the blockchain that in 14 states across India, and that's a lot. The leaders, of course, are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, but they're not far behind in other states as well. There's a lot happening there. Now, if you ask me what? E-governance is going on the blockchain, birth certificates, death certificates, educational credentials, all that is going on the blockchain. And more important, once it's on the blockchain, the data can never be removed altered or changed. No more fake degrees, fake birth certificates, fake Aadhaar cards, fake you know, uh, PAN cards, nothing. It's all going to be safe for us in the future. When I say safe, it brings me to another little topic. Do you know your data today is with 36.7 lakh marketing agencies? Your PAN card, Aadhaar card, passport copies, guys, all of it is with these guys. You do get some pesky calls all day long asking you to buy a loan or, you know, or, or some flats or something like that. It keeps coming. You put yourself on a do not call list, you'll still get them. There are no systems which block them really. 
very, very perfunctory. You block one number, the other one pops up, the next one pops up. It's never going to stop. But more important and really scary is 36 lakh people have your data, my data. And guess what? When we go to the internet, you can't sign into a Facebook or any other Amazon or anything without giving your data. They are actually not care a damn what they are selling. They are actually selling your data. That's value. How do enterprise work on it? Well, your supply chains can be entirely on the database. Your supply chain can be on the blockchain now. Logistics, shipping, warehouses, the retail markets, loyalty points, air tickets, baggage tracking. I can go on and on all day about it. But bottom line is, there is hardly an area left anywhere which is not impacted by blockchain. I was asked a question once. How does Bitcoin work? Because everyone wants to know Bitcoin. Everyone. Oh, Bitcoin works on the blockchain. It's like a car, a vehicle, and the blockchain is the highway. It's a great use case of it, but it's not everything. I don't want to get into the crypto space because we talk about blockchain. Blockchain is a revolution. Crypto was a speculation. My journey, too, has been exactly that. I used to speculate first, buy, sell cryptos, mine cryptos. But now, I talk about the deeper technology behind it. I talk about blockchain. So my journey has been from speculation to a revolution. Crypto being the speculation, blockchain being the revolution. Having said that, it's time now to blockchain all businesses. By 2030, almost all businesses, trust me, are going to go on the blockchain. Just see Australia, 70% of the financial systems have gone on the blockchain, and another five years, everything will go. Should India be left behind? Should India Inc. be left behind? Should our corporates not take the first steps forward? And then we'll see how it works for us. Blockchain is going to be our future and it's not going to go anywhere. Look another 10 years from now. Let's not even look further than 2030. Let me give you some five predictions of where blockchain is going to go. First of all, as of now, if you see Gartner, Gartner had actually a report which says blockchain is going to be a 3.1 trillion dollar industry. That's massive. That's more than the GDP of our nation. But when we talk about these numbers, it's mind boggling. Well, let's look a step back in India. India too is going to see from a 40 million to a 240 million increase over the next five years. Right now, as we speak, there are about 40 to 50,000 jobs available in India in this space, which by 2030, are going to be 800,000. That's from a NASCOM report I'm quoting. Not like that. And that's not for nothing. We have got so many projects happening. We have the CBDC project, also known as the Central Bank Digital Currency, which the Reserve Bank is working on. That will be on the blockchain. Our agricultural systems will be on the blockchain. That is the supply chain from farm to fork, as what we call it tracing every aspect of the business would be on the blockchain. That seven private Indian banks have moved this process onto the blockchain. And recently, even the State Bank of India, which people say is a government bank, also moved on that. And that is the harbinger of the future. I'll sum it up in one way. Blockchain brings in efficiencies, huge cost benefits. Banks are benefiting up to $12 billion annually by implementing blockchain. Enterprises are going to be next. It's going to be the future. It is the present. And it's not going to go away for the next 25 years, at least unless something more disruptive comes in. Blockchain is going to help each one of us whichever business we are from. I'm, I'm happy to help you explain that. Bottom line, it's going to help you with your efficiencies. It'll help you bring down costs, increase top line, control bottom line. Protect your data, which is now, as I said, the new gold. Friends, look out for blockchain. Learn more about it. Feel free to reach out to me anytime to DLC. I'll be more than happy to help you, show you the pathway for a better future for a safer future for all of us. And here's a little message for my DLC family. With blockchain, let's rock and let's talk block.